Good day, good day, good day Gambia. Welcome to yet another edition of this take. I want to talk about a topic that's very dear to my heart and I guess many of my fellow compatriots. See, love for country doesn't mean we have to clap for you. We have to pay you and we have to reward you. But love for country deserves gratitude. And gratitude from who? The very people you have served and served diligently. I remember Sheriff Sekoba Sise, a man that has done a lot in terms of shaping, spearheading, and executing what we call the economic recovery programs of the early 80s. We have seen, seen the dividends gained by this economic recovery program. And you know what? Kudos to Sheriff Sekuba Sise. He has done a lot for country. But we ask ourselves, did we do enough for him as a person? collectively as Gambians? The answer is no, we haven't. We don't even know who Sheriff Sekubasi says, let alone remembering him. We have an Ekundayo Mahoni, someone who died in the line of duty, defending what he loves, his country. Killed by a lone wolf. Mustafa done so. We know of Saul Samba, died in uniform. Has he been celebrated? No. We know about Mrs. Louis Jai, Minister of Education, who has done a lot for this country. Have we celebrated him? No. But today, I want to talk about a very special person. A person in the name of Alaji Momodu Birin Jai. The issue of Biri came to mind after the passing of Draman, after the passing of Digon Jai, after the passing of many prominent Gambians who have done a lot for country and we have just forgotten about them. And I do believe Biri has given quite a lot to country. He has given quite a lot to the sporting fraternity of the country. He has given a lot to African football and by extension global football because you come to Spain in a town called Sevilla, they still have a Biri Biri role because of the exploits he has done for the game of football. If Sevilla across the Atlantic can celebrate our very own son, the son of the soil, the son of Alajim Gusnjai of Perseverance, Alajim Momodu Birinjai, if the Spanish can celebrate it, what are we waiting for, Gambians? You see, Gambians do well abroad, but are shown in country. We lack the regard to celebrate the best and the brightest amongst us. And my wall of, of old will say, and that's what we as Gambians lack. And that's what we as Gambians just don't know how to do it. So I suggest we should have a petition to Honorable Henry Gomez that we, the taxpaying citizens of this country, who are cognizant of Alaji Momodu Birinjai's exploits on and off the football pitch, for the very country he loved and gave all, need to be rewarded and need to be someone that this country named the Independent Stadium after. If we haven't done that for Biri, we haven't done justice to Biri. And I do hope this broadcast will lead to a petition and this petition will inform the Minister of Youth Sports that we, the people of the Gambia, want to name the only stadium we have, our independent stadium, to Alhaji Momadou Biri Jai. So you go to Senegal, 
you have Alin Sutejata Stadium. You have Leopold Sida Senghor Stadium. You have Ibamat Job Stadium. You have Demba Job Stadium. And you have Marlis Jai Stadium. These are all great Senegalese who have done a lot for country. Gambia has many sons and daughters who have given all to country, died in poverty, died without recognition, and guess what? We tend to celebrate them posthumously. That is wrong. Let's celebrate each other. Let's create stars. Let's create idols and icons. Let's create legends. Let's make our great people larger than life. And that is part of building the Gambian psyche. And that is part of propping, or propping rather, the Gambian confidence as it relates to our statute within the sub-region. We need to create references. And the references these people, this country want, some of them are still alive. Let's identify them, give them their rightful place in our society, and build a society where the best and the brightest amongst us are identified. And hopefully, and subsequently, I do hope, we have a public holiday called Heroes Day. Gambia have many unsung heroes, and these heroes need to be brought to life and we need to immortalize some of these people. No wonder why America is a great country because they make their citizens larger than life once they have done enough for country. A George Washington, an Abraham Lincoln, a Monroe, a Fitzgerald, a Martin Luther King, a Bill Clinton. These people are given a fitting recognition for the work they have done for country and humanity. Therefore, we, the people of the Gambia, need to start giving back to our heroes and legends. And I do hope we will also name Westfield Roundabout Solo Sanding Squire. It's almost 16 months and nothing has happened yet. And let them not tell us plans are on the way. We're sick and tired of having plans on the way. We don't want to plan to fail. We want to plan to move. And in moving, we will fail. And when we fail, we'll get up. And when we get up, we'll try again. So please, the government of the Gambia, our political class, our legislatures, let's identify the great men and women among us. A W. Dixon Colley, great journalist. Hassan Fix Mane, a great journalist. Auntie Arun Dao, Mrs. Dao, a great educationist. Mrs. Cecilia Cole, Mrs. Gibson, great educationist. Mrs. Forbes, great educationist. We have forgotten about all these people. Mr. Fowlers. Guys, guys. If we don't love each other, we can't love ourselves. And if we don't promote each other, we cannot promote the ideals that make us Gambian. Let's build legends. Let's create heroes. The likes of Draman Touré, Francis de Jai should be immortalized for being great students, great references to young Gambians. What have we done that has just put us off trajectory? You look at the indiscipline that's rampant amongst us today, especially on our roadways and motorways with our drivers. It shows our disregard for nation building. 
It shows our disregard for taking this country forward and also the institutionalized corruption that is prevalent amongst the very people that should be enforcing our traffic ordinances is giving us a hell and a nightmare. Most of us are sick and tired of just driving cars on Gambian roadways anymore. Let's bring back sanity. Let's bring back dignity. Let's refocus on what great a Gambian we ought to be. And let's refocus on building legends and heroes and reference points. Just like encyclopedias have references, a country needs references. And the Sanjali Bojangs, the Famarawaso Tures, the Ali Ubadaranjais, the St. Clair Jews, the Sawalo Sises, the Michael Baldes, the P.S. Njais, the Emmy Jalos, Edward Francis Small, Lady Jawara, Nima Satasane Bojang, all these people need to be remembered, recognized, and named after great edifices that's owned by the Gambian taxpayers to show gratitude. Wahsambahi wai wanyo sabas. An ungrateful nation is a regressive nation. We don't want to be regressive. We want to be progressive. And Mr. President Barrow, if you don't take care of this, don't expect to have a highway, an airport, a school, or anything belonging to the general public to be named after you someday. Charity begins at home. Let's build Gambians. Not Gambia. Let's build Gambians. Let's create giants among us. Let's create heroes and legends. It starts with the government. It starts with our legislatures. It starts with the very people we are collectively, the Gambian. The Gambian is sick in the heart, in the mind, and in the soul, and we need to change that. Without that, this country is doomed because the trajectory we're taking is leading us nowhere. On that note, a great evening.